Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Father Steve Connor of Holy Trinity Episcopal Church, and this is Wiley. And we're here for another Wednesday with Wiley. And it is an absolutely gorgeous day. And so as we begin, we begin with prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time grant us your peace through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Well, Wiley and I are down near Princeton, New Jersey, in Kendall Park where for the last three days, including this morning, it has snowed. We have over a foot of snow outside, and now the sun has come out, and it just is a brilliant, beautiful winter wonderland. I love a good snowstorm, and so does Wiley. Don't you, buddy? Do you like a good snowstorm? Yes. He loves to jump around in it, he also likes to eat it. In fact, we have been going and getting bowls of snow out the door for Wiley to eat. Something wonderful about how dogs adapt to where they find themselves. And they figure out how to do it. They figure out, okay, that might be too deep. I won't go there. I'll go here. They have an innate sense of adaptability of adapting to what life presents them. Isn't that a wonderful thing to have, to be adaptive? During this strange and mysterious years, because it's all 2021 now, that we've been living in, we've all learned how to adapt. We wear our masks. We get back into our car after being in the store, and we're driving around, and we still have our mask on because we forgot to take it off. We social distance. Granted, we're all tired of it. Granted, we want the vaccination, don't we, Wiley? Huh? We want the vaccination, don't we? Yes. Because we want to get back to what we know our life is like. We want to get back to what we call a normal way of proceeding. One of the good things we've seen in the news lately is that the numbers are going down. The rate of infections are going down, the number of people dying, the number of hospitalizations, and they seem to indicate that this is part of the vaccines that are happening. Because we may still get sick with the vaccine, but it won't be as lethal. It'll be like having the flu, we're told by the doctors. So Wiley and I have been having fun. We've had a snow day. I feel sad for the children who no longer seem to get snow days since they've moved to online learning. There's no need for a snow day. But remember those wonderful mornings when you'd wake up or you'd go to bed and you'd anticipate, I wonder if we're going to get off tomorrow. I wonder if there's going to be enough snow. And then you woke up and you heard on the news for me, it was always KYW in Philadelphia. KYW, News 60, News Radio. And, and they would announce, all public schools are closed, all parochial schools are closed, and it just felt like Christmas morning. It was like, wow, this is going to be fun. And you'd have a wonderful day sledding or snowball fighting or just doing nothing and not feeling guilty about it because it's a snow day. So I think as one school district did, I believe in, I forget what state it was, their superintendent decided to have snow days, even though they don't build them into the calendar, but he was going to announce some random day that it was a snow day and the students were off. That's wonderful. And like Wiley, 
we adapt, right, Wiley? There's such joy in snow days. I wish for you today to capture that feeling of a snow day, a day where suddenly you are given this gift of time, of playfulness, of jumping around in the snow like Wiley likes. You want another treat? High five? Okay. May God bless you this day. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, grab that snow day. Do what you want, when you want. Feel the joy and freedom of being. Totally, totally free.